Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. It's my absolute pleasure to bring you my reaction as a rugby player to the 68th ranked player in the entire NFL for the year of 2022. His name's Zach Martin, he's a guard for the Cowboys. Let's get into it. Zach Martin is on the list almost every year. Uh, That's a guard? That is a guard from the Cowboys. Cowboys? I've, I've heard that name before. Ones with them? You, you might know? Probably not. I don't want to be friends with these people. Their job is directly to become an op. Is this Mr. Pancake Block? It's cool. Office alignment don't have like a set mission or goal. They're like, hey, what do I want to be when I grow up? For whatever reason, I remember him having some nice wee black stripes underneath his eye. It could be a different guy. I don't think it is though. But uh, sorry, mate. I cut you off there. Probably not. I don't want to be friends with these people. Their job is directly to become an obstacle. Office alignment don't have like a set mission or goal. They're like, hey, what do I want to be when I grow up? A roadblock. <laughs> that's how I'm, that's how I'm gonna win. Roadblock. <laughs> okay, that is the very first time I've ever, ever seen Tell you what, guys, they're really listening to what Cameron Jordan says this year. Not sure, not sure how Zach Martin would feel about that, being called a roadblock. That's probably a good thing. I would definitely say Zach Martin because he just shows up and does his job. It's a common occurrence for him to show up on this list. Actually, no, it's certainly not this guy with the um. No, that was um, with the the, the big lines under the eyes, and he was sort of like a robot last year, or at least he had the robot um, background music. It was, um, Jesus, who was it? He played for the Colts. Played for the Colts. Let me see. I've got to get to the bottom of this. Colts offensive line. Nick Minnett. Quentin Nelson. Not Zach Martin, but close. As far as size is concerned. You don't hear a lot from that interior right side of the line throughout oh, the game, nice. and that's because he's just shutting stuff what. down. Hand off, Elliott plunging on the right side. Big Zach Martin block. Zach Martin's... Oh, I'll tell you what, it wasn't just Zach, but uh, yeah, some big boppers up there. And a mauler. He just took Christian Covington and danced him back five yards. He's a dominating run blocker and a dominating pass blocker. Zach Martin, he's as good as they get around the league. There really isn't any weak spot in Zach's game. He's a very balanced player. He never really catch him off guard. He's someone who truly understands contact balance. Wherever he hits a guy, that's where they're staying. They ain't getting off that block. Handoff coming right block from Martin on the edge. Zach Martin, I always like to watch his film because he's been doing it for a long time and he's such a technical player. Like his technique and his effort make him stand out. Hey, good job on the, uh, that touchdown play. I, I knew that guy was kind of bluffing and going to go still. In 2000. Well, you love to see that. The intricacies of the game. The talk. The backstage talk between the offensive lineman and the running back. That, that you know, that's music to my ears, to be fair. And with that in mind, let's look at some stats. Where are we? Zach K. Marin. Not quite. Zach Martin, here he is. 31 years of age, November 20th, 1990. Born seven days before me, believe it or not. Six foot four, 315 pounds. Went to Notre Dame. Notre Dame! The Fighting Irish from 09 to 13. Got picked up in the first round of the 2014 draft. For pick number 16. Went to the Cowboys. He's been there ever since. Um, he's a five-time first-team All-Pro participant. 14, 16, 18, 19, and 21. A seven-time Pro Bowler. 14 to 19. Missed it in 2020. Who knows why? And came back in 2021. He made the NFL 2010's All-Decade team. And I tell you what, if nothing else, that is impressive. He has a broad jump, which is the shortest we've seen thus far. 8 foot 10 inches. But at that kind of size, I mean, what do you expect? 28 inches on the vertical jump, 29 reps on the bench press. Well, he makes up for it and more with the bench effort. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look at his last deal. What are we talking? What are we talking here? We've got no issue. We've got, we've got, Jesus. We've got pretty much zero information about the fella's career. I mean, all he, you know, well, I suppose he is a guard. He, he, well, a roadblock. 
so to speak. You either do your job or you don't. Um, interesting. Let's continue. 21. Zach Martin committed zero holding penalties for the fifth time in his eight-year career. I'll tell you what, that is one stat line that no one would ever really look into. But with the amount of fucking offensive line-based penalties I've seen in this first week of NFL preseason, it's almost like every second play that's completed, whether it be running, whether it be throwing, it's a 30-yard gain. It's a fucking 40-yard gain. It's a 20-yard gain. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's brought back. No, it's a penalty. No. I mean, it's such a disappointment. And if you know that this guy is not willing to give the penalty, but also willing to put his body on the line to make the play. That's a decent roadblock. When you see Zach play, early on, filled with just, I'm going to knock everybody over like a bowling ball. And he knocked everybody over like a bowling ball. Zach Martin pulls, and he absolutely crushes Jaron Williams. Jaron Williams is making his first <laughs> NFL start, and he said, "I'm oh, not oh, up for that." Oh part. no! Oh no! Hey, just like every game, it starts with this group right here. They want to talk. First NFL start, and you come up against Zach Martin. Physicality. Let's show what the physicality is all about. Now it's. I'm not going to knock everybody over like a bowling ball. I'm going to get off the ball. Long asleep. sleep. As soon as they get in contact distance, wham! I'm a strike. You want to follow your best. And your best is Zach Martin. Bam! Open up a lane for Zeke Elliott. He's a really good, savvy player that can, that can get to the next level. This is Martin's sixth straight appearance on the players list. A record for regard. Number 70 has a tracking history of rerouting top rushers and delivers in any weather all season long. Not bad for a roadblock. Dallas Cowboys lean on him. They run behind him a lot, so um, he's definitely going to be in the top two guards as long as he don't lead. He's one of those top tier guards that you game plan around when you when you uh, face him. Zach's been the poster child for guard in the NFL. Unfortunately, it's against a team I hate. I do love watching Zach play. He's still the best guard in football. Wowee. Well, there you go. I'll tell you what. Um, look, let's let's go on the opposite side of the ball and go to safety and talk about Buda Baker. Uh, we all know the play. We all know the game against the Seahawks. I won't get into it here, but we will get into it in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. That was an absolute pleasure. Um, once again, repping the Gypsy King, the man, the lineal heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. And um, look, if you don't respect that, then you don't respect me. Ah, I'm just fucking with you. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.